Hello everyone. Now in this video, we are going to study about the first module of design of mechanical systems that is methodology and morphology. And specifically in this video, we are going to study about what is the meaning of a methodology. As we, you can see it here, in case of a methodology, we have a particular chart. Chart. Now, in this, if we check it, what is the meaning of a methodology? Now, methodology, it's simple words, we can call it as a method. Method means that how we can start for preparing a particular product, particular device, particular machine, and how do we end it with the final print of it. Now, if we get go with its proper steps. The first one, the first step, that is to, to prepare specification list. Now, if we'll take an example of any machine or simple example, we will take example of an elevator or lift. Now, if we come to know that we are going to design one lift, now we will prepare specification lift. Specification list. Now, what is the specification? That where we are going to use that lift? What should be its capability? What should be dimensions, its height? The material that we are going to use it here. So that should be, or that is, come center here, the preparation of a specification list. After that, to the next step, that is a rough sketch of possible mechanism. Now we have already determined that we are going to make one lift. Now for that lift, we are going to make specific sketches, rough sketches. Now, it is not necessary that we have done with particular analysis and all. We have simply, we are simply making rough sketches of it that how it can be worked. Now, it should be rectangular. It should be having particular different shape as per the design of a building or what, where should be the buttons of it. So that comes under rough sketches of possible mechanism. After that, once we get to the rough sketch, next third step, we are going to move with the block diagram or a general layout for selected mechanism. Now the thing is, as we have done with it, now we know in case of a lift, what should be the block diagram or a general layout. Now in case of that, first there will be one frame of a lift. And on that frame, each and everything is going to be fixed, like its rope, the drum, the rotor, then the lift doors. So this things we are going to use it in terms of a block diagram. After getting all these things, all requirement, we are going to design individual component. Now, in case of that, if we have determined about the weight, then we are going to determine what should be the motor capacity to lift it up what should be its counterweight so all those things we are going to design it individually with the given specific condition and final step will be preparation of blueprint design now this is the last step of methodology where our product or our design is ready for manufacturing so that is why it is called as blueprint design now this is the step where our product is completely done with analysis or it is completely done with the design and now we are going to we are ready for manufacturing it. Now we will discuss in detail a little bit one each and every point of it. But the first point it is preparation of specification list. Already we have discussed the example of a lift. Now here we will discuss a little bit more points in it. Now, what are the points comes under this thing? Now, if we take example of a bike or a vehicle, four wheeler like that. Now, in that case, the specification left while designing the four wheeler, what should be specification? That how much fuel it can consume or it, it will consume? What should be maximum capacity or maximum speed? What should be its carrying speed? What should be its overall dimension? 
what should be its weight? So these are the few points which comes under preparation of specification list, especially for here described we have motorbike. Now already we have done uh, the discussion on lift. Now this is regarding motorbike. So you can decide as per the product we have. After that, rough sketches. Now in the rough sketches, now if we have a particular mechanism like in case of the engine, motorbike, or in case of belt conveyor, in case of a wheel, or in any other case like punching, design of a punching. Now, here we need a particular mechanism. Now, as it is mentioned here, so in case of a design of punching and blanking, you have a particular mechanism that mechanism will help you out for punching or a blanking process. Now the thing is, for that, there should be one connecting rod, there should be one flywheel, which will convert its rotary motion into the translation or a translator. So for that, we have to make one simple design or a simple possible mechanism, a rough sketch. So it, it is maybe it might be a simple uh, piston connect piston cylinder and connecting rod mechanism that we use it in IC engine. So similar mechanism we can use it in case of this punching and blanking process. So in this step, we are going to make one rough sketch so that we will come to know how it can be done. Now, third one, it is a block diagram or a general layout. In this, now we have taken the example of EOT thing. Now, what should be the block diagram of it? We know EOT is electrically overhead paint, over paints. So, in that, we have assumed a few components or we have taken few components like what should be the motor for the supply power. Now, there should be a clutch to connect and disconnect the motor power. Similarly, there should be one coupling, there should be one gearbox, there should be one rope drum, and the pulley system hook to attach the load. So, with this, this is a general layout through which the power from motor up to this rope. Or a drum or a pulley system, it will be supplied. And to hold this, we are going to lift a load, a particular load of a particular uh, weight, and up to a particular certain height, we can use it. So this is regarding block diagram or general layout. Next, design of individual components. Now, in case of this design of individual components. We have to think about the individual components in an assembly. And in case of the engine, we have to consider piston, cylinder, connecting rod, piston rings, the smaller up to the larger part. Each and every individual must be designed under this head. Now, here we are going to consider the forces acting on a particular component. Then it's hardness, wear resistance, fatigue resistance, rigidity, strength. Now these are the points which are we are going to consider for individual components. Similarly, their mode of failure, their yield strength, ultimate tensile strength, fatigue strength, and deflection, permissible deflection. Now, with considering all these things, we are going to design the dimension. Of that particular component and which will be the final dimensions and after that it will move for manufacture. The last point of this part is preparation of blueprint design. Now in the last step we have designed individual component with all the safety factors, safety measures and after this we are going to assemble each and everything through sketches, through diagrams, and we are going to prepare a blueprint which will be the final print or which will be the final dimensions of a particular product or a particular machine element. And through this blueprint, it will be ready 
for the manufacture. Now this is the end of this video.